Sustainable Design Strategies of Eco Housing Estate in Seremban 2, Malaysia Abstract The Eco Housing Estate in Seremban 2, Najiri Sembalan, Malaysia features a new terrace house concept with the dual or veiled facade and open planning scheme. The Eco Housing Scheme is ecologically and environmentally friendly utilizing sun shading elements, thermal buffer envelope and addressing strategic site orientation to minimize solar penetration. The proposal is inspired from the environmental issues of the typical terrace houses in Malaysia. The sustainable design strategies implemented are drawn from previous researches on passive design strategies of residential buildings. Keywords Echo Housing, Passive Strategies, Sustainable Design I Introduction The Echo Housing Estate is a new terrace house scheme in Kota Warazan Putri, Seremban 2, Najiri Sembalan developed for Tabung Haji Properties. The design project was Comis signed in 2016 and consists of 55 units. Seremban 2 is an ideal location for experimenting with new architectural design being a rapidly developing area with a mixture of commercial and residential buildings. The client, Tabung Haji Properties requested for a terrace housing concept that is new and competitive in the market. The architect, Syed Faisal Syed Abdullah, an associate of Domain Architect SDNBHD produces design of terrace houses enveloped by aluminium louvers which act as sunscreens for thermal buffer and glare protection. The terrace houses adopt passive design strategies in order to reduce energy consumptions. According to Mirami, SETL1 residential buildings in Malaysia contribute to approximately 19% of the country's energy consumption. Therefore, passive strategies especially in relation to the envelope design of the houses in the hot and humid climate of Malaysia are highly recommended. The terrace house also applies open planning concept on the ground floor for better air circulation while adhering to the local trend, building by law, and practicality as much as possible. The terrace housing scheme is envisioned to be ecologically and environmentally friendly. The total cost for the eco housing estate development is estimated to be approximately RM25 million. Two ecological design strategies. The eco housing estate in Kota Warazan Putri, Seremban 2. Najiri Sembalan utilizes several passive strategies including facade treatment, orientation, shading, roof insulation, open interior layout and thermal resistant construction material. Several of these sustainable passive strategies such as building orientation, facade treatment, roof projections, shading devices and have been highlighted by other researchers such as AKJ Wanti, S. Sakri and V. Swami too although in other climatic region and in relation to vernacular architecture. A. Facade Treatment and Orientation the Echo Terrace House facades are covered by horizontal and diagonal aluminium louvres which protects the elevations from direct sunlight. Typical Terrace House facades are usually not covered or shaded, therefore very exposed to sunlight and become heat transfer elements. The Echo Terrace House front facades are aligned approximately in north or south orientations on the site in Kota Warazan Putri, Seremban 2 to minimize sunlight panet ration into the interior spaces. This site orientation has been recommended by numerous researchers and architects such as K.Ying3 for climatic reason. Front facades facing north or south orientations would receive sunlight from higher altitude angle. The horizontal louvers which envelope the terrace house font facade would therefore serve as an ideal sun shading device to block high altitude sunlight from penetrating the interior. Fig 1. Perspective view of the Echo Terrace Houses, Source, Syed Faisal Syed Abdullah. B. Sun Shading. Zion Ahmed ETL4 recommend three important strategies for bioclimatic building design in the Klang Valley, Malaysia which has a hot and humid tropical climate ventilation, shading and dehumidification. The Echo Terrace House in Seremban 2, approximately 45 km away from the Klang Valley is provided with a distinctive shading element consisting of horizontal and diagonal aluminium louvres which protects the elevations from direct sunlight. Typical terrace house facades are usually not covered or shaded therefore very exposed to sunlight and become heat transfer elements. A study by G. Evola, F. Gullo and L. Marletta 5 indicates that appropriate shading device such as external blind can enormously improve thermal and visual comfort inside glazed buildings. The Echo Terrace House front facades are aligned approximately in north or south orientations on the site in Kota Warazan Putri, Seremban 2 to minimize sunlight panet ration into the interior spaces. This site orientation based on sun path direction in the tropic has been recommended by numerous researchers including J. Tupa 6 who proposes coordinated adjustment with other site factors and opportunities. Therefore the Echo House's front facades do not face exactly north or south orientations due to site configurations. The horizontal external louvers which envelope the terrace house front facade serve as a sun shading device to block high altitude sunlight coming from the north or south directions. Fig 2 North-slash-south-facing front facade, source, 
Syed Faisal Syed. Abdullah. The external envelope of aluminium louvers act as sun shading and glare control device against the sun. The space between the louver screen and the concrete and glass facade act as thermal buffer zone and is also appropriated as an air conditioner ledge outside the master bedroom on the first floor. The louver screen provides the owners with extra privacy while inside the master bedroom and at the same time hides the air conditioning unit from the view outside. Fig 3B First floor plan of the Echo Terrace House, Source, A.R. Syed Faisal Syed Abdullah Sea Roof Insulation Terrace house roof is usually the part which receives the most impact from direct solar radiation therefore providing insulation under the roof is essential to prevent heat gain inside the house. This heat gain issue is addressed by proposing insulated roofs for the Echo Terrace houses which should be able to minimize heat gain from above. The roofs above the family areas and staircases of the Echo Terrace houses are also provided with skylights to allow daylight into the interior spaces. The roof or the Echo Terrace houses will be constructed using metal decking with fiberglass insulation underneath. Elididia ETL7 have indicate this type of insulation as recommendable for roof insulation as well as reflective roof surface. The Echo Terrace houses with metal decking roofs will also have highly reflective surface to reduce heat transfer into interior space underneath. D Interior Space Inside the Echo Terrace house, the living, dining and kitchen areas are arranged as one continuous space. Volume 9 Issue 11, November 2020 Separated only by means of permeable partition walls. E. External wall construction Originally, the architect proposed the different areas on the ground floor to be totally opened without any dividing partitions, but the idea was rejected by the developer, to bung Haji properties on the basis of privacy inside the house. However, the transparencies between the three adjacent spaces are maintained by means of strategically located openings on the partition walls. The wall openings are provided at eye level to allow visibility between the adjacent spaces while maintaining a certain degree of privacy. The openness and continuity between the spaces are meant to reflect contemporary easy and casual lifestyle as well as allowing better ventilation and air movement across the spaces. Ventilation and air movement is important in the design of terrace houses in Malaysia as the lack of it usually contributes to poor indoor air quality thus affecting the occupant's health and perception. A study by YH Lim 8 indicates that this is a crucial aspect in Malaysian terrace house which could influence occupants perceived comfort and health. The Echo Terrace House provide ample operable windows which allow occupants to adjust indoor ventilation and air movement levels to suit their preferences. IBIAI, Z Sherry and MFZ Jaffer 9 conducted a survey on 298 households of Terrace Houses Indiana Putrajaya, Malaysia, and concluded that the majority of them opened their house windows from time to time. This behavioral pattern indicates that most occupants desire to have operable windows in their terrace houses thus allowing more control of the indoor air quality. The Echo Terrace houses will be erected using typical reinforced concrete structure with the external walls constructed using AAC, autoclaved aerated concrete, blocks for thermal performance. The AAC blocks are three times lighter than normal bricks, durable, fire-resistant, high-insulating and could minimize heat transfer inside the house through the external walls. K. Sethi, M. S. Nayak and S. R. Nanda 10 describe aerated concrete as a revolutionary construction material which provide heat insulation, sound insulation, fire, and mold resistance reduced dead weight and many other benefits. 3. Conclusion The Echo Housing Estate in Kota Warazan Putri, Seremban 2, Najiri Sembalan capitalizes on several passive design strategies to reduce energy consumption and also to increase indoor environmental convert. The passive strategies of the Echo Terrace houses include facade treatment, building orientations, shading device, roof insulation, open interior space, and thermal resistant external walls. It is hoped that with the sustainable design interventions, the proposed housing scheme would reduce possibilities of post-construction alterations by occupants which frequently occur in Malaysia as reported by N.SAG 11. Acknowledgement This article is one of the outcomes of a research grant entitled Indoor Environmental Quality of Terrace Houses, Thermal Comfort, Day Lighting, and Air Quality, GUP 2018-095, at the National University of Malaysia, UKM which allows the author to carry out work related to this article and to collaborate with an industrial partner on the topic.